Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the chromatography. Chromatography is a technique used for the separation of components of a mixture. So, chromatography is a technique used for the separation of components of a mixture. Here the separation of components of a mixture is totally based upon the difference in the affinities for stationary phase and mobile phase. Here the principle is totally based upon the fact that the components travel with different speed along the stationary phase under the influence of mobile phase. So here different components of a sample have different speeds to travel along the stationary phase under the influence of mobile phase. The principle of chromatography is totally based upon the different speeds of different components of a sample along the stationary phase under the influence of the mobile phase. So different components of the sample will have different speeds to travel along the stationary phase under the influence of the mobile phase and hence the components can be separated from the sample. Here the stationary phase may be a solid or a liquid. At the same time, the mobile phase used for the separation may be a liquid or a gas. Especially based upon the stationary phase. If it is a solid phase, that chromatography is called as adsorption chromatography if the stationary phase used is liquid that can be called as partition chromatography for the better understanding of the concept of chromatography let us consider a column for the separation of components of the sample
especially this column will be packed with a stationary face let us suppose that this column is supported with a solid stationary face so this column is packed with a solid stationary face it is a column used for the separation of the components of a sample it is the stationary face which is present in a solid state initially the liquid sample is passed through the column then separation of the components from the sample takes place let us suppose that the sample contains two different components so it is the sample consisting of two different components here it is the liquid sample of the liquid sample which is to be separated so at this moment always the column is supplied with mobile face continuously then here these components are having difference in affinities towards the stationary face and mobile face with the result the separation of the sample takes place and they move with different speeds so these components are having a difference in the movement because of difference in affinities towards the stationary face and the mobile face so the component with weaker interaction with the stationary face will travel first so that will move faster and thus the separation takes place and the component with stronger interaction will travel later that means it will move slower and that will be collected separately in this way the column chromatography is highly useful for the separation of the components coming to the classification of chromatography chromatography can be classified into two types namely adsorption chromatography and partition chromatography here in the case of adsorption chromatography the stationary phase used is solid whereas in the case of partition chromatography the solid phase used is liquid 
and hence here the separation is totally based upon the adsorption of the components whereas coming to the partition chromatography here the solid phase is liquid and hence the separation of the components of a mixture is totally based upon the partition again adsorption chromatography can be classified into three types namely column chromatography thin layer chromatography gas solid chromatography in the case of column chromatography here the mobile phase is liquid in the case of thin layer chromatography the mobile phase is a liquid but here the solid stationary phase is supported by the planar planar layer that is called as thin layer coming to the gas solid chromatography here the mobile phase is gas again partition chromatography can be classified into two types namely liquid liquid chromatography and gas liquid chromatography so in the case of liquid liquid chromatography the mobile phase is present in liquid state and the stationary phase is also present in the liquid state coming to the gas liquid chromatography the mobile phase is present in the gaseous state whereas the stationary phase is present in the liquid state important applications of chromatography include the separation of amino acids proteins and carbohydrates so chromatography is highly useful for the separation of amino acids proteins and carbohydrates it is highly useful for the analysis of drugs hormones and vitamins at the same time this chromatographic technique is highly useful for both qualitative and quantitative analysis analysis of a complex mixture so chromatography is highly useful for the qualitative and quantitative analysis of a complex mixture and it is highly useful to calculate the molecular weight of proteins these are the important applications of chromatography if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day